Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of LJ Law, Family Law TV. I am Bonnie Leonardo, your host. Today's question comes to us from Charles. He wants to know what happens if the other parent violates the order and does not keep up with the child's health insurance like they were supposed to do. Before I get started answering that question, I want to remind you that if you have questions about this topic or any other family law topic, don't hesitate and go to VegasDivorceMeeting.com. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you to discuss your particular situation. So Charles wants to know what happens um, if the mom of the child violates the, the custody order, the order that stated that she was supposed to keep the child's health insurance uh, going and she decided to just drop the insurance. It was too costly. She didn't want to keep it up any longer. Um, so my answer to that is two things. One, um, she, mom, is blatantly in violation of a court order and therefore Charles has the right to file a motion for contempt. This motion will then be brought before the court, explaining to the court how mom has violated the order and mom then has to explain to the court why she violated that order. If the court finds that it was a blatant disregard of the order by the judge, then mom can be fined. Mom can maybe lose some custody time. Uh, mom can be forced possibly to pay for dad's attorney fees. And mom may be forced to reinstate that insurance that she was supposed to have in place to begin with. Um, another thing that could happen is that if during the time that mom begins, uh, during the time that mom stops insuring the child, if anything were to happen to the child before Charles could get to the court and the child needed medical attention and was not insured at that time, the mom would be responsible for paying any health, hospital, dental expenses, anything that was supposed to be covered by that insurance that now is not due to the fact that no insurance exists for the child. So I hope this answered your question, Charles. You do have uh, a way to combat this. Mom doesn't get to unilaterally just cancel insurance because she feels it's too expensive and doesn't want to pay for it any longer. Um, if you have questions about it, you want to talk to me about this further, go to VegasDivorceMeeting.com. I'll be happy to sit down with you to discuss this further. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you know somebody who can benefit from this information, please share the video with them. And as always, I want to thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time.